Eric Shepard, laying it up and in. Oh, beautiful, Roger. Beautiful. I tell you, the one thing I like about him is his aggressiveness toward the basket. He is beautiful with it. He takes charge and isn't afraid to go on in. With that bucket there, gives Wildcats back the lead, 22 to 20, and a traveling violation is going to be whistled against Roger Randolph. That time I think Roger was a little bit surprised when I believe it was Derek who came and doubled down. Absolutely, Josh, up and out with four points, and the Wildcats lead by four, 24 to 20. A whistle away from the basketball. So we got that one on Randolph. Yeah. Roger Randolph is going to be whistled for an illegal screen. And Roger's going to sit down now. Roger's second now. Roughly got about seven minutes left in the half here. Bull Mullins. And a carry. You don't see that one called too much in college basketball. I don't know about that one. I think... Uh, that might have been a little tight. Looks like we got uh, Roger Randolph coming back into the game. Looks like he'll be replacing Bull Mullins there. And he pulls St. Francis, Francis back into it in four. It's, excuse me, six points. It's 32. Oh, the hand got the steal, Raj. Uh, a little dunk there by Mr. Randolph. Uh, Roger Randolph with the foul. Great job to Roger to get down the floor. I thought for a second there, Jonte was taking a horrible shot, but that was clearly a pass off the glass to Roger Randolph, and Roger pulls down the rebound. Because a foul is going to be whistled. What a beautiful dunk. Hardly even had to jump off of that one, did he, Roger? Good side there, Roger. A good inside-out action there for the Wildcats, and they're back to a five-point lead. We're under three minutes. They're looking inside for Roger Randolph. Not there, so he's skipping out on top to Marcus Loudon. There's Ryan Bricker, still looking for Randolph. Frees himself, coming over as George Wooten, but not here in time. And another two points for Roger Randolph. Roger now with six points. For St. Francis, he's three for four from the field. And he's a better he's a better shooter than that, though. And George hits the second. He's got a nice high heart to that, doesn't he, Roger? Rain in the rain. 36-32, Wildcats on top by four. We're under two minutes. James picks up his dribble. Randolph picks up the pass. Working his way in the paint. And oh, a blocking foul. It's going to be called on Justin Stedden, and that will be number two on Justin, and that will send Roger Randolph to the line to shoot two free throws. Got to be tough on Justin on that one. He uh, took a good fall out of that. Looked like a reminiscent years of Bill Lambert with the Pistons. Roger Randolph hits that first free throw. Looking down the line there, St. Francis there. Tell you what, Coach Blackman could go out on that floor right now. Or at least he looks like he could. And uh, still dominate the action. He looks in incredible shape. He's part of all those uh, Purple Rangers, wasn't he, Roger? James Blackman, Lyndon Jones, Jay Edwards. Three straight state championships. Incredible run. Josh Hummel off the glass. Oh, he slapped the backboard. How oh, that was not a goaltending, I'm not sure. Well, Coach Fleming off the bench, and I, unless the rules change, I was pretty sure that would be, that is a goaltending when the ball is up off the glass. John T. James lost the ball, somehow got it back, kicks it out, and Mark Fowler hits the three. Now, how that wasn't a travel, I'm not sure either. So, uh, Coach Fleming's getting a little upset down there. 36-30, we're tied, and just under one minute. Indiana Westland needs to slow down and uh, take control of this one now for the final shot. Back door, Aaron Brothers, pump fake. Off the glass, it won't go, but he draws the foul. Oh, what a job by Aaron Brothers. And that's a huge foul with less than a minute to go. Let's take a look at this replay. The ball goes... Off the glass, 
And he smacks the backboard. Smacks it for sure, yes. We'll have to check the rule book at halftime. In the second half, whoever makes the most improvement, does Indiana Weston shoot the three better, or does St. Francis shoot the ball better from the line? We'll, we'll wait to see. Just leading out for the highest amount of fouls going on right now with three, uh, while Marcus Loudon's got two, as well as Scott, or with, uh, Chase Holden's got two as well. Uh, the only other person really close to that would be Ryan Bricker. Now you see on the replay, a little bit what we're talking about is uh, Ryan Bricker for the layup, and now St. Francis with their biggest lead of the second half, 54 to 51. And Wildcats have struggled offensively since St. Francis switched to their zone, kicking it out. Is Aaron Brothers to Ryan to uh, Kirk Novotny on top of Derek Shepard? Aaron Brothers pulls up. The three won't go. Loose ball. And the rebound pulled away by Roger Rando. Here's Jonte Jones. Jonte James, that is. Inside pass is knocked away. It was intended for Roger Randolph. And I believe Josh Hummel's going to pick up his fourth foul. And he does. That's four on Josh Hummel. Justin Sneedy coming back in here. Four. Got a timeout. Timeout on the floor with 12 minutes and 21 seconds to go here in the second half. Wildcats trail by three. Seconds remain here in the ballgame. Wildcats trail St. Francis by three, 54 to 51. And it's been the John Gensick show here in the second half. Well, really just the last few minutes, Eric. I tell you, last half he had two points uh, coming out of this half. He's uh, three for five on the three-point line now. 13 points now for John Gensick. Wildcats look like they're playing some pretty aggressive defense out of this timeout. Here's John Gensick. John T. James now with the basketball. 15 seconds on the shot clock. James leaves it for Randolph. He got fouled and will go to the line to shoot two. That foul is going to be on number 33. Aaron Brothers, that will be the first on Aaron, and now that is the team's sixth foul here in the second half. 16 fouls for the Wildcats, St. Francis with three. Roger Randolph at the line, hits the first. Eight points now for Roger. And he hits the second, 56 to 51. St. Francis with their largest lead now of the second half, 56 to 51. And Eric Wildcat's gonna have to do something to figure out this zone. There you go. They're taking their time now, Roger. Looking for the shot. A three second violation. They turn the basketball over to St. Francis, and I don't know if it's either on Justin Sneddon or Aaron Wilson. And we're going to have a timeout. Eric, after the last two timeouts, Indiana Weston has played more aggressively on the defensive end. I would agree, Roger. Much more aggressively. Got two guys ganging up. There we go. A nice play there from Justin Sneddon. Got the post entry. Justin waited for the defender to come down and uh, put it right back over off the glass. 56-53. Wildcats trail by three. Ball on the right baseline, kicking it out to Jonte James. Jonte skips it, and uh, three-second violation back the other way. I think so, I tell you. They got to put some defense on him and keep him away from the ball. Well, John Kenzik came into this game averaging 10 Point seven points a game. Loose ball is back out of bounds. Off of St. Francis, so the Wildcats will have the basketball. There's 17 seconds on the shot clock. Danny Morris gets it into Justin Sneddon. Out on top to Aaron Wilson. Aaron picks up his dribble and has to find Danny way out on top. Danny dribbles. Three. Won't go by Aaron Brothers, and I don't know that the Wildcats were maybe a little bit uh, short on the clock there. I'm not sure everyone knew that the shot clock was winding down. Aaron Brothers did and tried to get off a quick shot. Pump fake in the way. No, 
basket, an offensive foul. It's going to be whistled on Roger Rando. Oh, wow. Roger not getting any breaks in his hometown. He's got four fouls now, but uh, looks like the same one as the coaching staff uh, saw that one coming there. No arguments from them. 14 fouls on St. Francis here in the second half. The officials will let those players clear out with their arms, but not that high. They'll have, they have to bring that down a little bit deeper when they swing the ball through. Well, Loudon's fourth on that one now. That's a big foul. He's a starter for St. Francis. That's four. Aaron Wilson can't get that jumper to go. And Roger Randolph pulls down the rebound. Randolph has been fairly quiet in the second half, he still only has nine points. Out of the corner, the three rims in and out, and Justin Stenton pulls down the rebound. Put in the NOSNEs. Justin Stenton with a big half, not only scoring, but pulling down rebounds. 11 points this half. Excuse me, ten, uh, nine points this half. 11 total for Justin Stenton. About 16 seconds on the shot clock. Looking inside for A.W. He has it. Pump fakes. And he goes. Aaron Wilson with the dozen points now at a very even balanced scoring attack for the Wildcats. 12 points for Shepard. 10 for Danny Morris. 12 for Aaron Wilson. Oh, nice. Wow. 11 points for Justin Stenton. Aaron Brothers with nine. I'll tell you, I think Derek Shepard almost picked his pocket up. Derek Shepard is going to pick up the foul, however, and send Roger, Rand Roger Randolph through the line. How about that one? Derek with four personals now. That will be the team eight. Now Josh Hummel getting ready to check back in for the Wildcats, and he'll give Justin Stenton a much-deserved break. And I don't think Justin's going to be out very long. We got a replay on this one, Raj. Let's see. Came right in on that one. I don't know there, Raj. <laughs> I don't think it's a foul at all. I think he kind of got hit by, by Roger on that one. That's a no foul, in my opinion, but I bet you the opinion of Bruce Hozier, our official out there, matters a little bit more than ours. Oh, boy. Roger hits that first free throw. As the second one rims out. I think so. Three and a half to go. 70-62. Indiana Wesley leads by eight. This is a big possession, a chance to go up double digits. Justin coming in here for Aaron Wilson. The Wildcats have Danny Morris, Derek Shepard, Aaron Brothers, Josh Hummel. Here's a long pass out of the inbounds. Great play. Danny Morris drives. Why is it up and in? It's a 10 point lead. Oh, what a play of my Wildcats. Nice they control on Morris there. Feed into Roger Randolph. Hard take to the basket, draws the foul. Good job by the Cougars to go right back inside there. But uh, the Wildcats saw a defensive lapse by St. Francis, and Danny Morris just took off and had a wide open lane. Mark Slav checks back into the St. Francis lineup. Roger Randolph hit the first free throw. He's at the line for the second. And hits that one as well. Both of them go for Roger Randolph, and now he has an even 12 points. Which is a much better on the free throw line than he started out with this, this evening. Three straight there for Roger. Danny Morris, excuse me, Derek Shepard, penetrating against that defense. He picks up the foul, and that will send Derek Shepard to the line, and he'll shoot the one and one. That is the eighth team foul against St. Francis. That foul was on number 12, Jonte James, and that's only the first on Jonte. What's he been doing all game by land one of those? Red ball the rebound. Derek misses that free throw. Derek, who had some very big free throws against uh, Grace College, misses that one. And he struggled from the line this season. Roddy with the take. A wide open lane, and Keith Roddy takes advantage and cuts that Wildcat lead to six. It's 72 to 66. Los Angeles got to be careful here. They can't leave their man. Nice inside penetration. I know he gets it. Oh, yeah, brother. Well, I thought it might have been a goaltending against Roger Randolph, but there's no call. And somehow, Randolph uh, tipped that one in. It was going in, but uh, 
He knocked it down. It rattled around and goes for Aaron Brothers. In the paint, Keith Roddy with the follow. Keep going. Let's take a look at this. Well, that was not a goaltend, in my opinion. No, the ball wasn't starting to go down yet. Marcus Loudon has the basketball. The Wildcats lead by 6, 74, 68. And that foul is going to be whistled on Josh Hummel, I believe. And if it is, it's going to be their 10th. It's the 10th team foul, so the double bonus now for St. Francis. But that is the 5th foul on Josh Hummel. And he'll be sitting down for the rest of the ball game. One minute and 55 seconds remain. The Wildcats have the six-point lead. We'll see. It looks like Justin Snedden ready to check back in for the Wildcats. And Eric, looking at the stats before the ball game, you thought this had the chance to be a very tight ball game. Wildcats coming to this group from coming to this game, averaging 74.4 points a game. St. Francis averaging 74.8. Wildcats give up 73.5, and St. Francis gives up 74.8. So, we're about even, it looks like. It's been a very entertaining, very close ball game. Roger Landolf hitting some big free throws. He has 14 points now. Indiana Wiseman has got a standard control of this last minute and 55 seconds. Don't rush it. Randolph is short, but Roddy with the rebound. A big miss. And a travel violation is going to be with him again. Keith Roddy can finger roll. He does. And it's a 76-69 lead. Derek, Derek Shepard almost with the big steal. Man, that was good. A for Randolph. He lays it up and in. And now a timeout is going to be called by Coach Jeff Runway. Oh, this has been a crazy, wild final few minutes. A minute and five remain. At a 30-second timeout called. 76 to 71. Randolph going up. And the easy lay in there. That was, that was good moving on uh, San Francis' part on that one, though. They, they took advantage of uh, where IWU was at and just put the ball right up there. It's hard to fault the Wildcats in that play. They were scrapping yep. like crazy for the loose ball. Take a look at that drive by Danny Morris. Good seal there from Justin Snedden. Good penetration there, buddy. Nice job. Right, but no, that would be his third, maybe, now. That is the third on John Gensick. He'll send Aaron Wilson to the line. We began the game talking about free throws, and it's uh, it's going to be what's the difference, I think, in the, in the remainder of this game. A-Dub will be at the line. 84.1% free throw shooter on the season, so... Coach Plum, you gotta like the fact that A Dub is one of your guys out on the floor going to the line. Aaron gets the bounce. Number three, the man to keep an eye on. He's the three-point threat. They get it to Jonte James. He's gonna penetrate. Throws it up with the left hand. It rolls around. Randolph with the foul. Won't go. Battle for the rebound. Pulled away by Aaron Wilson. And he draws the foul. Oh, what a huge rebound from Aaron Wilson. Aaron was in the middle of all that. They're gonna give to him. Aaron Wilson is going to go to the line for the chance to put this one away. 35.5 seconds to go here in the ball game. And Aaron Wilson, who already has 17 points, will go to the line and shoot two because that is the 10th team foul now against St. Francis. All they need is the clock to wind down as it is now. And that's the ball game. The Wildcats take this one. 84 75 with a huge win central conference victory over the St. Francis Cougars. And a big win as they go down up to Huntington College on Saturday to take on the Foresters. A big win for Coach Clement and the Wildcats. We'll be back to wrap it up to take a look at the final stats. This has been Wildcat Basketball on TV 51. WIWU. Gonna be rounded up. And that really did kind of hurt. St. Francis, but I tell you what, the defensive effort by the Wildcats in the second half, I thought was the difference for the Wildcats in the free throw line. 13 points for Josh. Aaron Brothers held below his scoring average, but uh, 
11 points for Aaron, 11, 4 for 11. He was only 1 for 6 from the three-point range, but that 1-3 was huge for Aaron Brothers. Justin Stead with 11 points. He was 5 for 8 from the field. Derek Shepard with his high point output of the season.